All right, who are you? I'm Dylan, and who are you? I'm Jared. This is kind of weird. This is weird, isn't it? Yeah, you, you can, can see, see us. us. You can see our faces. Well, we, 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 don't, we don't get to see you. No. And send us pics. Hot pics. Hot pics. Um, of your bits. Yeah, as, as mentioned, I'm Dylan. This is Jared. We're trying something a little different today. Uh, we're going to be playing some Bloodborne. What? Yeah, a current I, game. That's not indie? It's not indie. That's not a year or two old? And it's not a year or two old, and we didn't get it for free. That's true, we bought it. Well, you bought it. Well, I bought it. You bought it. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to be a little current, even though we are still late to the table on this one, because that's what we're known for, is being late, you know. So yeah, we're going to be doing uh, some Bloodborne PvP today. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, Dylan's been playing. He's yeah. been recording at home. Oh so. yeah, also this is post-commentary. Yes, post-commentary. Because I can't play and talk. If you hadn't, <laughs> if you hadn't guessed that already. <laughs> yeah. With Norwegia. Norwegia, yes. yes. Um, it's, a, it's a new running joke for my <laughs> Thank you. Norwegia. Thank you. Yeah. I'm glad I'm the butt of the joke. Well, you have to be able to contribute. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, today <clears throat> Dylan's been playing Bloodborne. We're going to talk about it. Uh, I am kind of a Souls veteran. Uh, mm -hmm. I've been around the franchise since Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2. This is my first uh, Souls franchise game. Yeah, well, so, Souls franchise. You know what? Stop doing the air quotes. That's, I love the air quotes. That's you know, my girlfriend is giving me a hard time with yeah, the air know. quotes, too. She's yeah, like, know, you know. know how I can tell you grew up in the 90s? Because you have all these weird hand gestures when you talk, like air quotes. I'm like, fuck you. I love the air quotes. I'm yeah. going to stick with them. Well, that's something. I just talk with my hands because I'm Italian, but I don't really do the air quotes. Do air parentheses. Yeah, I never knew it was yeah. a 90s thing. Yeah, didn't know either. But, yeah, okay. So enjoy some lovely Bloodborne gameplay. Thanks for watching. Thanks. And here we go, everybody. We are now watching Dylan play Bloodborne. So this is my character. Um, she's a female. Her name's Aurelia. Uh, it's after a magic card, Aurelia the War Leader. Uh, yes, I'm a nerd. Uh, we're both nerds. It's okay. Yeah, so that was just me showing my specs. Uh, I'm a level 105. Uh, skill build with uh, secondary and blood tinge. Um, I'm just stocking up now because I'm using the uh, repeating rifle. And somebody dying in the <laughs> dream. Yeah, I never know how that happens. I don't understand that. It doesn't make any sense to me. It'd uh, be so cool if you could PvP here. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess so. But, like, I mean, could any of the other games, you could PvP in the safe, like, no, the you can, zone? No, you can never PvP in, like, the uh, the hub world or, like, safe... There's always safe zones. The yes, only the air quotes are back. The, on the only place that it would make sense is if we if it was like the area where you fight Garmin at the end of the game or whatever oh yeah you when know, you the, fight the yeah the one reborn or whatever yeah yeah that little field yeah but, that'd be cool yeah so we've cut out all the load times just because because it's, it's, it's bloodborne super unnecessary <laughs> lots of load screens yeah well i'm so happy that they patched in the uh, the item descriptions on the load screens yeah it was boring just to see the bloodborne text over and over again. Yeah. So as we mentioned before, this is Dylan playing here, and I'm going to kind of critique him as we go. Yeah, because, well, I mean, you've never played Bloodborne PvP, but you, you are uh, a soul vet. Yeah. It's so much faster. Yeah, I love it. It's so fast. Yeah. Yeah, it's... I can't... It's, like, in, in comparison to the other souls. Yeah, I've, really I've never done the PvP in the other ones, but I, I hear it's a lot of running around to try and get backstabs for a lot of people. And here I miss a visceral. Oh, yeah, the yeah, first Dark Souls... Yeah, you definitely missed a visceral back there. But, yeah, Dark Souls 1 PvP was... It became a joke at high level because it's just going for the backstab. Yeah. Like, always going for the backstab. Hey, I won. Yay! And, of course, I do the... Respectful yeah. approval. I, no, I it's still, a respect. I still say it's a dick it's move. It's not a dick move. And then I do the brush cape because I'm a, it's like well done, but I'm a badass. Well done, but I'm badass. That's I, how it yeah, works. Like, see, this that's it's like a dick no. move. Like, hey, You'll notice you that I try, when I try. spawn in, I always spawn in at the bottom. Uh, that's out of choice because I've gotten ganked coming out of where the lantern is. There's that little area, um, right. Right, right to the left. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah, just to the left. So I always do the camera look because people just camp out there, and when you run up there, they'll just, or when they see there, they'll run up there and just backstab you. So it's just, uh, even though I'm not a high level player, I do suggest that. Oh yeah, this guy, um, he's gone making this a sandwich. Is, this oh. is AFK boy, and now he's oh, he's burned herb. He was probably smoking a bowl. Oh uh, he, yeah, he was halfway through. He's like, oh shoot, I'm getting invaded, <laughs> you know. <clears throat> and then he, he caught his couch on fire, so he stopped again and. I'm trying to be respectful because I do like the honor duels. Yeah. Well, I don't know what the wait times are like in this, but for Dark Souls 2, a lot of times I would just set myself in a PvP spot and wait. Yeah. And just make a drink, have a sandwich well, yeah. or something while I wait, and then, oh crap, being invaded, uh, grab the controller. So maybe well, that's what was happening in this guy. Generally, when I play, I uh, am watching a podcast. I'm watching Northern Lion or Funhouse or all the favorites. Yeah, like Game Grumps, all, all, the, all my regulars. All the hitbox on them. Yeah, I know, it's insane. 
So, like, what I'll do is I'll put the video on and then set up in the area and then just sit there and wait. And then just watch the video and then look over at the screen every once in a while to see if I've discovered a chime. Yeah. But in these, you're always invading, right? Like, you're the... Uh... Yeah, I always... I'm, I'm the one always ringing the Sinister Bell, so I'm the only, always the one invading people. So you're the Red Phantom. Yeah, yeah, I am the Red Phantom. And you got... Yes. Yeah. I find that I f a lot of people are using the Kirk Hammer. I don't know if that's still... Um, a thing, but like I, I just face all Kirk hammers. Well, I think it's because you can go from heavy two hand to a fast one hand. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, there's no because uh, it transforms to like a like, yeah. one handed rapier kind of thing. Right. Okay, and we're get a little bit of stutter on the video there. Yeah. Sorry, guys, but it happens. I'm not sure exactly what happened. PS2, PS4, PS2, PS4 capture is sometimes like that. It's they they did a lot of like programming things that make it really hard to capture. For another magic reference, this guy looks just like the Avatar of War. Yeah, the uh, helmet thing looks like the Avatar of War. Yeah, yeah. And I have a black deck with two of them, two of yeah. her in it. Yeah, and you hate that deck. Well, yeah, it's annoying yeah. because all you just kill everything, and I can't have a nice thing. That's the point of the deck. Yeah, I know, and that's yeah. Sorry, we're talking about magic. Yeah, we're. I mean. We might end up down the road doing a Magic the Gathering series. Yeah, because we like that. There's, there's a new game coming out, a new Magic series coming out, game coming out for yeah. PS4. Really? Yeah. Like magic Gathering, Gathering Online kind of thing? I don't know if it's like online. Okay, you had him there. Yeah, I know. And he got that little yeah. bit of regain. Yeah, he, he was probably at like 1 to 2 health, and he didn't even like do any like kind of like, well done, yay, I won kind of thing. Um, but you had tons of stamina, stamina left. If you had just yeah. swung one more time, yeah. you would have. Yeah, I, I have a problem with look, looking at the health bar instead of looking at the character itself and uh when i see the health bar at like pretty much none i'm like oh game over okay this guy's wearing a lampshade yeah. I, I love okay there might not be a large variety like, as diverse a variety of like costumes or weapons in bloodborne yeah but look at this guy it's look at this fucking guy it's ridiculous i don't yeah i mean i think like maybe i wish there was more variety that would be my one complaint is I was thinking about doing another playthrough, doing an arcane build of the main story. Yeah. Just because, like, it's been a while. I've been playing Far Cry 4 for a while. I'm not enjoying it nearly as much. It's not my bag. Um, but, um, oh, I died. Um, but weird. yeah, I've been thinking about doing an arcane build uh, replay through. But I, if you do none of the side missions, you, it'd take you a day to beat the game. As long as you're skilled enough, I guess. Yeah. Well, on Bloodborne, I think... Even like, without speed running it, you can probably beat it in four or five hours. Yeah, as long, again, as for, long as you don't do like as long. Now that I know exactly where to go and what are yeah. optional, like if you do, uh, you do Gascoigne first, and then you go to Bloodstarved Beast because it opens up a passage that you need, and yeah. then you go do a Vicar Amelia, and then Rom, One Reborn, um, Mikolash, then the last one, the uh, the caregiver person. Oh, uh, Murdo's Wonders. Thank you. Um, and then you go and do your whatever optional ending you want. That's like that's all. That's literally all the bosses you need to do for the game. I don't think I missed any. And that's like again, if you now that I know how to beat them, it's not, it's not, it's not um, crazy. So, I mean, I love Bloodborne. Bloodborne. I just that's just the one thing. I just wish there was more to it. Yeah, maybe the next one. Maybe Dark Souls Three will fix that. Yeah, because Miyazaki's. Oh, he's president of FromSoft now, so he can't exactly spend all his time directing well, yeah, the games. Yeah, but he is heading up this one, because, like, Dark Souls is his baby. Like, From does do other things, not no. not anymore. They and used to. They, oh. Yeah, they used to do Armored Core, yeah. and you died again. Armored yeah. Core and, like, yeah. Knight's Field. This guy's spinning. And, oh, okay. we, were, we weren't done talking yet. Well, we'll do another one soon. All right, yeah, that's the end of it, guys. Bye. Thanks very we're much. Done. Bye. Thank you.